to Welcome. Are you sure? Is this all? I give thanks. Can I help you find something? Is that what you want? And here you are. Is that what you want? Here you are. <laughs> huh, what'll it make? Oh, here you are. Thanks for that all. Here you are. Come again. What you need. So that's what you're getting? Can you hold up so that's what you're getting? Thank you very much. We recommend that. Can you thank you? Please take your time. You'd like this I give is this all take come again?
get to This is the request. Are you double checking the request? Do you want to cancel the request? Okay, it's canceled. You're doing this one? Okay, let's do your accepting this request. Time to get to work. You're doing this one? You're accepting this request? You're accepting this request? Okay, let's... You're doing this one? You're doing this one? Begin. Is this what you're making? Phew. Hmm. Not bad. A good choice. Mm -hmm. Well done. Nice. Phew. Well done. Mm, we're here. So, this is Akira Konoe's family home? Do you suppose Konoe's father? Mm, no. He died 20 years ago. What? I found some police records of an incident that happened here back then. A burglar forced his way into the home and stabbed Kanoe's father to death. How tragic. Most items of value were gone, so it was ruled as both a robbery and a homicide. They never found the culprit. And, and what did Kanoe do? He, he was eight years old at the time and was the only survivor. This is the birthplace of Kanoe's trauma. Yes. Let's do what we came here to do. I'm inputting the keyword now. room. Are we inside the house now? Looks like it. 20 years into the past. Whoa! Who's that? Is that... Kanoe's father? 
You little shit. What do you think feeds you every day, huh? I swear you're just a bill. Don't talk back to me. Somebody. <sighs> no, I can't. Keeping you around's a real pain in the ass. Too. If she just handed over the money when I told her to. No. Here he comes, enemy of evil, champion of those in need. Listen up, viewers. It's time to band together. Zephyrman! <laughs> okay, there are no heroes. Except to me, I'll kill him. What the fuck are you mumbling about, you freak? Not like it matters. I'll kill you!
it still attack while it's moving! Let's see you from that movie little face when you're dead! <laughs> Rocket launchers? Oh shit, he's packing some serious heat! That thing's got a ton of firepower! Stay out of the crosshairs! Yours! Let's go! 
Round two. One more. That combo strike was devastating. This is what Noe was trying to become a hero. Because no one was going to save him? That's terrible! <laughs> that was great, Joker! Yes. <laughs> 
suffered all alone for so long. Sophie. Looks like I've learned another new skill! Uh, is everyone alright? Better than alright! Feels great knowing we put that asswipe in his place! Akira Kanoe. <laughs> if what we just saw actually happened in the past... Then Akira Kanoe escaped an abusive childhood and avenged his mother by killing his own father. He must have framed the entire thing as a robbery in order to avoid suspicion. You're saying he's a victim of some high and mighty shitbag too? He must have felt so trapped. There was nobody he could turn to. So he set out to become his own hero, and the power to change hearts helped him do just that. It's just too sad. There had to be another way. There just had to. Hey, cool it. Whatever his past was, it doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nothing makes it okay for him to take control of people against their will. If we don't stop him now, more and more people are gonna get hurt. You're all thinking the same thing, aren't you? My thoughts exactly. Great. If we don't stop him here, then nothing's ever going to change. Let's do everything we can for now. While it's true we need to change Kanoe's heart, let's not forget we also need to save those whose desires he's stolen. And it's time we bust out the calling card. Oh yeah, that's kind of your thing, isn't it? Yeah, we'll change his heart and take back everyone's desires. Okay, let's head back to the car and come up with a plan. About the calling card. How exactly do we want to do this? Hmm, we need a place where we know Kanoe will see it. What about sending it to his company? The police will probably be crawling all over the place. It's too dangerous. After all that stuff he said about us on TV, I'd really like to stick it to him good. Give him something he'll remember. We could always try pulling a repeat of Shibuya. Huh? Where'd Gramps go? He said he had something to take care of. He's probably with Akane. Let's just leave them be for now. All right, well, maybe we... How come? I mean, you know, because Zenkichi's part of the team now, isn't he? I feel like he'd be missing out if he wasn't here for his first calling card. Plus, he's kind of got a lot invested. That's true. All signs point to Kanoe B. Zenkichi's definitely... All right, we'll wait to bring Zenkichi in on the plan. All right, we'll figure out the calling card tomorrow. It's been one intense fight after another, so let's get some rest and get back to it bright and early. Hey, is it just me, or has Yusuke not said a word since we got back? <sighs> wow, out cold and still standing. Dude's got all sorts of weird talents. Commissioner Kaburagi? You look better than I thought you would. How'd it feel being on the other side of an interrogation for once? <laughs> I managed to pull through. Guess I'm getting a little old for this, huh? More importantly, though, I heard something interesting from the Nijima lawyer. She told me the reason she was able to get me out was because she had help from a certain someone. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Anyhow, do you have business with me? Commissioner, I'd like you to help me. I'm going to arrest Awada. He's been behind the scenes with each and every change of heart case. Akira Konoe is the one who commits the crimes, while Awada sits back and capitalizes on them. They plan to cover up the truth by putting all the blame on the Phantom Thieves. I think they've even changed the hearts of some of us on the Force. And I'm talking pretty high up the chain of command. Hmm. 
If we don't act now, we'll never be able to stop them. Please, Commissioner. I can't do this without you. Do you have any evidence to bring Awada in? I'm on the verge of getting Konoe to confess. If we do that, we can expose all of Awada's crimes. You really think Kanoe will talk? He'll crack. I know he will. How can you be so sure? Are you planning to use the Phantom Thieves to change his heart? Sorry, but... I just can't tell you. Commissioner Kaburagi, do you remember what you said to me back when Aoi died? You told me you would cleanse this whole rotten organization someday. And that I just had to wait for the right time. That time is now. Please. I need your help. <laughs> You've changed, Hasegawa. Your little stunt cost me my chance at Senior Commissioner. Even my current title is in a state of uncertainty. I need to do something to restore my credibility. If I wanted to, I could serve all of you up to Awada on a silver platter, and he'd owe me everything for it. Did that ever occur to you? <laughs> your sense of justice would never allow it. <laughs> My, my. You have three days. If you say you can do it, then by all means, make it happen. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. And I'll give back your badge as well. Uh, are you sure? Fair warning. If you screw this up, I'll be covering my own safety above all else. No second chances. Do you hear me? I won't forget this, Commissioner. Shall I follow him, ma'am? Forget it. He'll just throw you off. Actually, I have a more pressing task for you. I want you to find out everything you can about the Commissioner General. The... Commissioner General, ma'am? I'm not one to pull punches. Never have been, never will be. So, you're sure the Phantom Thieves have been dealt with? Yes. They're being held in the jail as we speak. I've got Emma keeping an eye on them. Well done, Mr. Konoe. There really is nothing that can stand up to you in that AI of yours. Please, none of this would have been possible without your assistance, sir. Emma will show us the way forward. Now, I may be getting a little ahead of myself, but... What say we have a celebration of sorts? I'll go ahead and reserve us someplace nice. I think you're in for a real treat. Looking forward to it. Till then. Call ended. Filth. Flapping those fat jowls of his. Roaches like him are the very reason why this world needs someone to enact justice. You are absolutely right, Akira. We'll have to hurry with making Operation Oraculi a reality. More importantly, how are things in the Kyoto Jail? No issues to report. The Phantom Thieves are still under confinement. Very well. And, uh, just so we're clear, there's no way to change their hearts. Is that correct? That is correct, Akira. It is impossible. Well, if you say so, it must be. We'll just have to let them rot, won't we? Now to wrap this up. At this point, nothing can stand in my way. I'll take over this entire country. No, the whole world. So, I heard you guys were waiting for me to get back. You guys are surprisingly particular, you know? It's the first calling card we're sending out since you joined. I figured you'd want to be there for it. Well, it's not like I haven't helped out with one already. It doesn't seem like that big a deal. That's why we have a little proposal for you. Why don't you write this one, Zunkichi-san? Uh, me? But I've never written one before. Yes, we should all be more open to new experiences. All right, that takes care of the calling card. Now we just gotta figure out how to send it. Hey, I didn't agree to anything. He's so comfortable bad-mouthing us on TV. Maybe it's time we gave him a taste of his own medicine. Copy the enemy's strats? How about an online broad? You need more.
Could we just hand deliver it, maybe? If we want to get arrested, yeah. What do you think? Hmm, I don't know. Hey guys, check it out. Is that a blimp? Oh, you don't see them very often nowadays. That's the Reagan Bogan. It's the only airship in Japan that's currently in service. It seems it's being used to advertise Emma for... For Medis. Apparently, it circles Osaka's airspace every day. Hmm, every day? You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Way ahead of you. All right. Huh? 
Some kind of card? Yeah, like I just bought it over there. Wait, that's... Huh? Phantom Thieves? Is that actually real? Testing! One, two, one, two! Okay, looks like we're live! So, I just talked into this. You're on, man! Just say it! Uh, okay. <clears throat> Are you listening, Kunoe? Toying with innocent lives, slandering us. You've been busy, but so have we. Now, it's payback time. Ready or not, here we come! To the villain who thinks he's a hero, Akira Kanoe. You stole the desires of countless people. And tonight, we're making them, uh, I mean, taking them. Oh, you had one line! I meant to say that, making them, you know, like in the moment. Seriously? It's a practice. The Phantom Thieves. Impossible! To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Kanoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and shifting the blame for the murder of one of his employees. On top of that, Party A is also guilty of wrongfully imprisoning a group of minors. Therefore, in addition to putting out a formal warrant of arrest for Party A's crimes, Tonight, the Phantom Thieves will commit some larceny of their own and take back every desire you've stolen? Is this some kind of joke? Emma, what the hell is going on? I, I thought we trapped them in the jail. Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Don't give me that, Emma! I'm your master! Now answer me, damn it! Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Un God damn it! You think you can change my heart? Wretched little urchins! I won't be defeated so easily. Taking back the desires? You think you can steal from me? Fools! I am the very hero these people have been praying for. The Phantom Thieves are the evil that stands in the way of that. Come then, let's see who changes who. Dispensing the calling cards from the enemy's own airship. What a truly impeccable strategy. How much you want to bet the police are already all over that thing? Aw, won't it be sad when they find out we were broadcasting from a remote location? Nice job, Monans and Kichi. Sheesh. That was some contraption you put together. You did good too, Sophia. All I did was search the web for a blueprint we could use. Was it okay for us to leave it on the airship, though? Nah, I built it using a bunch of junk parts you can find just about anywhere. Word has certainly reached Kanoe by now. Yeah, but that calling card. To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir a Party A has wronged multiple... Party A? It's an arrest warrant. Is there a problem? It's supposed to be a calling card. Oh, shut up. Real big talk come from the guy who screwed up his line. What? Look, I told you, I didn't screw up! We're baking them! You're right. It's very much Senkichi-san's style. I thought it was different. Fine, whatever. If things go well, hopefully this will be the last one. The last calling card. Well, kind of sad when you think about it. Hey, this fight's just getting started. Alright, here we go. Time for the big fish.
everybody ready? So this is the final battle. Yeah, let's give it everything we've got. It's All right. We found Keep you waiting, you goateed prick! We're here to straighten out that crooked heart of yours! So you've come. A warm welcome to the terrorists who toy with others' hearts in the name of their self-righteous justice. As if you've any right to talk. 
you who repeatedly takes control of whomever you please. And you even tried to pass us off as a bunch of killers. You're the real bad guy here. Huh. It would appear you haven't realized just how similar we are. What? We're one and the same. We both detest this rotten society and struggle day after day to combat it. With our power to change hearts, we strive to incite change among the masses. Don't kid yourself. There's no way you're the same as us. We all know about your past. It must have been terrible for you, but what you're doing now makes you no better than a common criminal. I change hearts in order to exterminate the evils of this world. Are we not essentially the same? I'm simply introducing a system to keep things in order. And by creating monarchs, I'm ensuring everything plays out according to plan. What are you talking about? When the cognitive world revealed itself to me, I took it as an act of divine revelation. It was my birthright to change this godforsaken planet. With the cognitive world in my grasp, I could wipe all evil from the face of the earth. I would not waste such an incredible gift. But in order to see that dream realized, I needed a world that could be controlled. Controlled? What do you mean? I needed a world that would allow me to erase. To that end, I required something that could reach everyone and bring them to submission. Yes, it seems AI was the solution to that problem. Thus, the next step was to acquire Emma. The end results were the jails created by Emma. You're saying Emma made the jails? So that's why the jails were left standing even after we defeated the monarchs. The jails aren't perfect, mind you. A jail's area of effect only covers roughly one city. Peculiar has such a phenomenal power, has such a limited range. In order to change the hearts of all humanity, I needed nothing short of an army of monarchs. So I began gathering pawns. Powerless, lamenting puppets who felt as hopeless on this earth as I once did. And do you know what happens when you grant people like that the power to change hearts? They welcome their newfound power with open arms. And by using Emma to guide them, keeping them under control is a menial task. With the monarchs I'd personally selected, I could change the hearts of the festering rabble that calls this rotten place home. With the monarchs at my command, I could change the heart of anyone who dares step out of line. That was the end game. Operation Oracula. But you phantom thieves had to show up and ruin everything. So when we started taking down your jails, you got scared that your plan would fail. That's why you used the police and turned Akane into a monarch. It's not too late. I can still erase these obstacles and start over. <laughs> You're still so naive. But eventually, even you will come to understand. Fight all you want. The most you can do is change the hearts of a scant few. Don't you see that my way is far more efficient? So everything will be fine as long as you're the one making all the decisions? Who do you think you are? Some kind of god? You're just forcing your ideas on everyone else! <laughs> what foolish logic. So when you change people's hearts, it's right. But when someone else does it, it's... ...built an entire infrastructure for changing hearts. What was impossible for you, I have made a reality. As a hero... for this ridiculous plan of yours? She was just an innocent girl. And toyed with their lives. You don't know the first thing about justice. Then do you believe you could have saved me? Huh? Let's say you had been around back then. Could you have saved me from my father? I had nowhere to run. I was just a scared, helpless child left to suffer by himself. Well, could you really have saved me? Even now, there are surely others being brought up in the same hell that I was. And yet you've done nothing to help them. Well, that's... You only destroy the evils you just happen to come across. Me, however, I have the power to change the entire world. 
no one will ever have to suffer as I did ever again. And to do that, you need something beyond what the Phantom Thieves can offer. You need more than some childish heroic fantasy. But that's not justice. All you're doing is brainwashing everyone. You're taking away their freedom, who they are. And what's the difference? Both of us change the hearts of others against their will. <sighs> Don't you understand? What? For you, changing someone's heart means imprisoning them. But for you may steal desires like them. But the Phantom Thieves give people hope. Maybe you don't realize it. But I think, deep down, you know you're nothing like them. Mm. It seems there's little point in discussing this further. If we can't reach an understanding, then only one side can remain. It's time to decide which of us truly walks the path of justice. There aren't any real heroes left. So, why not make our own? The world needs someone willing to fight for its people's justice. A hero to lead them, to unify them. A hero like me! <laughs>
of righteousness, the hero who will purge the wicked from every corner of the globe. Prepare yourselves, phantom thieves, and watch as I shatter your illusory sense of justice with my own two hands. Oh, come on, he's got a neck? I'm 
gotta put him down one last time. Come on, Phantom Thieves. Let's end this. A hero must stand his ground. You must not let evil overcome you. He may be our enemy. But you've got to admire his determination. Neck or not, he's really taking it up a notch. Watch your backs, guys! What is all this? Let's go. Stop dropping the robot? Suki! Circuit Slime! McCoy! Unicorn! Fortress! Principality! Unicorn! Dragon Step! Hitting those with enough force will come in and explode. Explodes, huh? Maybe we can use that to our advantage. In the name of justice, I will the evils of this world after them. Don't let out! It's a terrifying sort of Don't just swing away at him! Pay close attention to his movements! Wake them up! There is no escape! People to us! No! Gotta fall back. Don't fall back! Medical attention! This one, I owe you one. Next, this one. This one. Go ahead. My turn! Ready? Persona! Hey, check out those wings. We can use them to get the jump on them. Sure. 
Let's go. Take it. Persona. Oh, nice, Joker. You hit his weakness. That Joker for you. Come on. I got your back. Joker got his follow up attack. Just the same. 
You would deny me, Joker? Our definitions of the word are one and the same. Dude, even we don't know what justice really is. And we don't mean to say that what we're doing is always right either. But we're definitely not just gonna sit back while you tell everyone what to do. It's true, there are days when I wish to immerse myself in my work. Days when I'd rather be wandering around town. There are also days when I wish simply to spend time with those close to me. To throw all of that away and do only what the person in front of you says. Why, at that point, you're nothing but a slave to fate. All you're doing is taking away people's rights to choose for themselves and denying them their freedom. When it comes down to it, 
It's no different from what your father did to you. Trampling upon the one thing that makes us human. That's the very evil you claim to hate. Are you saying I'm the evil one? We choose the roads we take. We don't let anyone tie us down. And we do so because we want to walk our own paths our own way. But if I fall here, then what will become of the world? There are no heroes. I'm the only one who can save it. Are you sure? I've seen the monarchs and the people whose hearts you've changed. They didn't look happy at all. I don't think you saved anyone doing what you did. <sighs> you know, Kunoe, the world is full of evil, and there's plenty of scum out there who seem well beyond redemption. But there are some, like the Phantom Thieves, who refuse to give up. And there are people out there who, thanks to these guys, finally got the courage to crawl their way out of the darkest depths of hell. People who managed to awaken the hero inside themselves. Isn't that how we'll make this world a better place? <sighs> what you're trying to do will just erase those heroes. Some before they even get their chance. Can anybody really know peace if they're forced to be stuck that way all the time? I'd be erasing the heroes. Kanoe, it's not the people who need saving. If anyone needs it, it's you. Huh? Ever since you killed your father all those years ago, all you've ever done is run away, rotten as he was, having to live with the pain of killing your own flesh and blood, knowing that you could be caught at any moment you were alone. And getting stronger was the only way you could protect yourself. I... You're right. I... I killed my father. And I lied to escape the punishment. I called it justice, hoping that there'd never come a day when I had to face the truth. But what I did back then was just evil. Then you know what you need to do, Kanoe. The hero you keep inside needs to save you from that evil. The hero I keep inside... I have to save myself. <laughs> I see now. It's been right there with me, all along. Very well. I admit defeat. I'll confess my crimes, and accept my punishment. Whatever it may be. I'll destroy Emma as well. You have my word. Phantom Thieves. If it's possible, I only ask that you please prove to the world that I was defeated by the real heroes of this story. Ones with a true sense of justice. Thank you. did it. Now we just have to wait and see. We certainly learned a lot. Emma? Noe's big plan? Noe said he taught cognitive science to Emma in order to create jails. Shutting down Emma should mean the jails will finally disappear. So our names are probably in the clear too, right? Well, that depends on Kanoe's confession, but I'm thinking it'll probably work out that way. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. It's just those things you said back there. It was nice to hear you talk about us that way. Agreed, though, in all honesty. I can't say I thought all of what Kanoe said was wrong. However, your words reminded me of precisely why we do this, Senkichi. That's one of the big reasons why we started the Phantom Thieves in the first place. To give courage to people. Yeah, that speech was top, Senkichi. Gotta give you props for that one. <laughs> Any more of this, and I'd say you were proud of me. Anyway, we've done what we set out to do. So, in the meantime... Who 
Hell yeah! Osaka Feast Round 2 coming at ya! Then let's get our butts in gear! I'm talking deep fried skewers, pork buns, okonomiyaki! Oh man, what else? We've done nothing but eat since we got to Osaka. Eh, you're young. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Today's on me. Get whatever you want. Woohoo! Gramps got a heart of gold! Leave the search to me. I'll find us whatever you guys want. And our tour guide's coming in clutch. Sheesh, don't get too carried away, guys. We've got big changes on the horizon, you know? Osaka has a lot of top-tier sushi vendors, too. Sushi? What are we waiting for? Not so fast. Let us not forget the blowfish and crab hot pots. Hot pot again? Eh, whatever. Still down. Uh, hey, take it easy, you guys. I am Akira Konoe, founder and CEO of Medis. On behalf of the company, I have an announcement of grave importance. Recently, I stated my company had been targeted by the Phantom Thieves in an attempt to discredit our company. I now admit that this was a total fabrication, with no truth to it whatsoever. I, Akira Konoe, am the true culprit. I devised a plan to accuse the Phantom Thieves of a terrorist plot so I could conceal my own heinous crimes. Specifically, so I could abuse Emma and gain control of people's hearts. Using specific language, I could change their hearts and make them do as I wished. Yes, this process is essentially brainwashing, and I have scores of evidence proving it works. The change of heart epidemic that has plagued this nation is entirely my own doing. By controlling people's hearts, I was able to make them do my bidding across the entire country, including horrific crimes. This includes the death of Shuzo Ubukata, the head researcher of our Okinawa research facility. Instead of taking responsibility for my actions, I shifted the blame onto the Phantom Thieves. I must also confess, these are not my only crimes. Over 20 years ago, I claimed that my father was killed during a home invasion, when the one who really killed him was me. I took my father's life, then attempted to frame others for my crime, so I could avoid any repercussions. These are the crimes I confess to you all. As of today, I will be stepping down as CEO of Medis and turning myself in to the police. Emma will be shut down. The AI will be wiped from the servers. All these terrible things were done for nothing but my own selfish desires. So now I must do the right thing and bring myself to justice.
controlling people's hearts? Is that real? Wait, Emma? Like the app, Emma? Oh shit, better delete that. Anoe-san, I thought you were a hero to this country. I knew it. I knew the Phantom Thieves were really the good guys. <laughs> nice try there. Oh yeah! Yes! <laughs> it really worked! Come back when for the Phantom Thieves. We brought down the Mastermind. Looks like the case is finally closed. Once we confirm Emma's no longer running, our work will be done. Yep. Once that's done, everything's up to the police and the courts. In fact, I'll head over and pick him up now. Good luck. I hope it goes well for you. Yep. Well, off I go. Now, what should the rest of us do? We'll probably hear all about it tomorrow. At that point, I suppose we should get back to Tokyo. So we're finally nearing the end of our journey. What say we wrap it up with a round of sightseeing? It looks like Osaka has plenty to check out. Ooh, sounds good here! So, once the jails disappear, the trip will be over. the deal we made? I joined the Phantom Thieves, and I've experienced so much on this journey, but I still don't truly understand the horror. All this time, I've had the same query. What if he was trying to help people? However, everyone instead argues that... That is true. Kanoe didn't have any true companions. Like all of you. But there's something else. The Phantom Thieves live their lives following their beliefs. But Kanoe and his monarchs, they couldn't do that. The Phantom Thieves must have strong... When our journey ends, I won't be able to help you if the jails disappear. What should I do if I had a strong heart like the Phantom Thieves? Now, hang on there, Sophia. I think you got the wrong idea. Just because we're going back to Tokyo, that doesn't mean your deal's up. I think I'm kidding? The jails may go away, but we can. There's gotta be some evidence about your past here in the real world. So how's about we all go looking for it together? Oh, you too. Oh, come on now. Feel free to hang out in this guy's phone as long as you like. In fact, we'd welcome the company. Thank you. Yo, what's the holdup, guy? <laughs> Whoops. Looks like we're being slow pokes. Let's get going. Mr. Kanoe, what is going on? Everything you said. Was that true? Please, settle down. I'm sure Mr. Kanoe had his reasons for... <sighs> it's fine. I admit, I've made so much... I'm on my way to turn myself in... Mr. Kanoa, allow us to spare you the drive. Excuse me, who are... We're the police. Akira Kanoe, you are under arrest. I'll spare you the list of charges. How great it is to return a favor, Akira Kanoe. And you are? The last monarch you installed was my only daughter. Uh... You toyed with and ruined countless lives, and now it'll be for nothing. You even used an innocent, grieving child for your own benefit. You're taking responsibility for what you've done. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was so desperate. I, I disregarded something so important. Free will. I was on the verge of stamping out what makes us truly human. I haven't turned out any different from my own father. On your feet. We'll hear it all at the station. All about the connection between Iwata and the top brass on our force. There's nothing you can do to earn my forgiveness. But your confession can save the lives of a whole bunch of people. It's what you wanted, right? Now's your time to be the hero. Huh? <laughs> 
It's all up to you. Right. Mm-hmm. Hey there. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ah. Spot after a job done right. Okay, Gramps. I'm curious, why Universal Land anyway? You gotta hit up Universal Land when you go to Osaka. 
Plus, I thought it'd make a fitting atmosphere for our celebration. Ha, <laughs> nice one, Lady Anne. You really know how to pick them. Dude, you should try to get a job here. You'd make it huge in your Phantom Thief form. Hey, don't treat me like some kind of mascot. This place really brings back memories of celebrating last year. We shared a lot of our lives together. Not just as the Phantom Thieves. Although this experience was quite different from our time opposing the palace rulers, Alice Hiragi, Ando Natsume, Mariko Hyodo, Akira Kanoe, there's no mistake they needed stopping. They each had very complex circumstances. This isn't to negate the crimes they committed, but... It's impossible to simply write them off as evil. You're right. They had all suffered so much. Everyone loses their way or faces hardship at some point. And it always has the potential to make a permanent impact on someone. But the biggest testament to a person's character is what they do after their hardship. As for the monarchs, they were all taken advantage of while they were lost. They changed the hearts of those around them to fit their ideals, and refused to accept their true selves. Still, such a fate could easily befall any one of us. If someone came to me, claiming to hold the means to solve all my problems when I was at my most hurt and desperate, I can't say I wouldn't have wound up in the same conundrum. Yeah, I think we'll make it just fine. <sighs> there you go, trying to sound cool again. If any of us were in trouble, none of the rest would leave him behind like that. I'd be totally screwed without you guys, but when I'm with you, I feel like I can take on the world. Uh, Ryuji? <laughs> That's true. We should especially keep a close eye on Ryuji. Ooh, the fist of justice may rise again yet. Why's that gotta be the first thing you jump to? He has a point. So long as we have each other, we will never stray from our path, no matter how painful. The Phantom Thieves are going to be fine. I guarantee it. Why are you saying that like you're not one of us, huh? You're a Phantom Thief too. Right. Sophia, Zenkichi, and all of us make up the Phantom Thieves. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. All right! Let's keep the good times rolling and live it up one last night in Osaka! <laughs> <laughs> Killing me. Still feeling all that soda from last night, too. <sighs> I'm quite nauseous as well. Symptoms processed. You have what you call hangovers. Is that right? Uh, soda doesn't give people hangovers. It's more like that one stuffed his face too much, and that one whacked his head on the ceiling when he got too rowdy. Oh, I understand. Seriously, don't misinform Sophia with such stupidity. <laughs> Sounds like you did. Zenkichi! We saw the news. Nice work bringing in Kanoe. Thank you for all your efforts. <laughs> yep, but there's still one last. That's right. Owada. I'm flying back to Tokyo pretty soon. Sounds like we'll be going our separate ways for now. Sure, once everything's settled. Well, I do still have some time left. I suppose I should send my partners off right. Speaking of which... Got a sec? Hmm... Well, in that case...
Yes. Beautiful. Hey, kids. Oh, yeah. Stand by me. Hey. Let's get to work. Hey. Okay, got it. I really do appreciate everything you did, Phantom Thieves. Let me say this one last time. Thank you for rescuing Akane. And me too. <sighs> you really are something. So you're going to arrest Owada? You know it. I swear I'm going to throw every crime he's committed right in his face. I'm sure he's wigging out and trying to hide behind some other badges, but... Don't let him slip away from you. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm the rising star at PubSec. Say hello to Akane Chan for us as well. Sure. And stop on by whenever you want. I know Akane'd be thrilled. Your next visit will be a lot more easygoing. I'll even show you around Kyoto. See ya. He goes. Yes. To finally finish this. I'm sure he'll see it through to its proper end. We should get back to Tokyo ourselves, too. I can only imagine how worried Boss must be. Ready to head home? Nope. We While there were hardships, the experience of... Sophia might be the only mystery we never really cracked. I'm no help there. Uh, we'll take another crack at it once we get home. We can always ask Ichinose if she knows anything, too. Yeah, there's no rush, Sophia. We'll keep at it as a team. That's right. We'll put on all our thinking caps later. Thank you, everyone. All right. Time to hit the road. Sophia, mind guiding the way? Okay. I've got it. Reached the home stretch. Hey, how much longer have we got exactly? Roughly three hours remaining. You're already that close? We'll have to say goodbye to the RV once we reach the city, too. It served us so well. No, Phantom Mobile! Hmm? Did the name change? Oh, I can still remember tossing and turning all night when we first started sleeping in here. <laughs> now it's like a second home. Hey, how about we do one last tour of the whole country? I'm sad it's over, too. But you know, it has to end sometime. We all have lives to get back to. Especially stuff like homework and classes. Uh, right. I know, I know! Please don't bring all that up now. Just let me not think about it for a little while. I'm fairly sure you said the exact same thing at least a month ago. Well, life is long and full. Don't let a mere year or two of being held back crush your spirits. Why are you assuming we're getting held back? Wait, no. We're all graduating together, right? You'll be fine. So long as you put in the effort. Just make sure you shift out of vacation mode and study hard starting tomorrow. What a load. We saved a ton of people this summer. Can we get extra credit for that? Uh, I know, right? Uh, I guess tomorrow's gonna be our last day together no matter what our grades are. I too wish it wouldn't end. Then what do you say to a minor detour? 
Oh yeah, Sophia? Something you want to do? I'd like to commemorate our trip by watching fireworks. There is a fireworks festival scheduled in Yokohama today. I believe it will make a great... How wonderful! Awesome! Last time we got rained out, and now we get take two. Well, that settles that. We are off to the festival. I imagine it'll be pretty crowded. Park a ways away from the actual site. Exactly, are we? I can smell the ocean. Oh, isn't this Ocean View Park? I came here for a photo shoot once. Correct. We are approximately 15 minutes on foot from the festival ground. I know. Why don't we put on our yukata first? Oh, the ones we got in Sendai? Fireworks in yukata. Truly an exemplary summer in Japan. It'll grow rather busy the closer we get. Yeah, I'm way stronger than before. Plus, all of you are with me. In that case, we should depart now so we may secure the group's viewing location. What? For real? The traffic on our route is currently heavy. To watch the fireworks from an optimal location, we must... You know, the ladies of all sorts... You're coming with us, Miyagana. <gasps> yeah, I guess we can do something nice for him. It is the last night of the trip and all. See you in a bit. Clear skies this time. What a relief, right? Hmm. Oh, there they are. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry we're late. Oh good, we didn't miss it. Perfect timing. I think it's about to stop. Uh... Perfect scene of summer. Hey! Um, can I see them too? saw fireworks from that close up before. Me too. Oh, it was so pretty. Indeed. The final botan was quite the spectacle. Uh, what now was a spectacle, Inari? Fireworks are named after the display they create, such as botan and Kamaru Giku. So that's a botan. It was much more amazing than the recordings I found online. I want to see all the other types of fireworks. I'm right there with you. Think we unlock a trophy if we see every festival in the country? Don't you hate crowds and stuff, though? Ah, uh, we'll show you anything you'd like, Sophia. We've got all the time in the world now. That's right. Yes, that sounds great. I can't believe vacation's already over. We went through so much, but I had such a great time with all of you. <laughs> Our inner circles expanded a bit as well. I'll remember these months for the rest of my life. Come on, don't say shit like that. I don't want to get all sad yet. Well, our trip's not exactly over yet. We still need to make the drive back to Tokyo. Then shall we change and head out? Sure. Look, isn't this a bad sign? They're saying it's within the city limits, so maybe we're fine here. No, look, I, I know I deleted the app, but here, it, it's back on my home screen. What? No way. Huh? What? Wrong. Uh. <sighs> hey, if you try anything... Don't forget, you still have it coming for the hot spring. Like hell, I'd want to do that!
Thank you very much. Hey. Yo! <laughs> Thanks! Amazing! Good grief. Thank you very much. Hi. Yes. I'm in your debt. <laughs> Speaking of which, thank you very much. Hey. Ask you a favor? Oh? Um. A good choice. That's right. Indeed. Thank you. 
Well, yes. So that's the story. Do you have a second? Okay. Oh, man. Reality's only a couple hours away now. Oh, give it up already. There'll be plenty of fun in your future, too. Sounds like I gotta brace myself, then. Makoto, do you need a route to Tokyo? Yes, Sophia, thank you. Could you do the honors? Okay, I've got... Wait... What is this? Sophia? A jail. I suddenly smell a jail. How is that? Hang on now. I, I, I thought we shut down that Emma bull. Shouldn't all the jails be gone? I don't know. Can you tell how long the jail smell's been here? It wasn't here when we first arrived. But now, I have no doubt. And it's still spreading. What is this? It's already wider than... Zinkichi is calling. Where are you right now? Are you watching the news? Just pull up the news! My word! Now for breaking news on the... Despite recent claims of being shut down, Emma Development Company Madis has requested the public avoid accessing Emma in any way at this time. Emma isn't shut down? What is going on, Zenkichi? I don't know why this is happening, but... I do know that Emma's servers are located in the Tokyo Radio Tower. I also know for a fact that it was successfully turned off and the app became inaccessible. But now, it's all back up and running. Kanoe doesn't know why. Neither does anyone still at Medis. Someone intentionally rebooted the server? Wait, then that would mean some genuine sci-fi stuff is happening here. Hey, say something if you're on, Emma. Hello, how can I help? This is for real. Is it accessing different ports or something? What on earth is happening? Senkichi, we've got another problem. Sophia just smelled a jail. What? Are you sure that's what it is? I have no doubt. It's an enormous jail, spanning the Tokyo area all the way to Yokohama. The epicenter is the Tokyo Radio Tower. And that's where... Emma's servers are located. Looks like we've got a new destination. I'm already headed your way. Be there soon. Abomination. Its writhing grass spreading across the land. Could this be the second coming of the evil that rent me asunder, that locked away even my master? Has even this happened before? No. But why is it different? Hmm. I beg of you, trickster. It wounds me to continue requesting your and your companion's intervention, but I sense foreboding power. Not far from here, I am most certain it is connected to your becoming a prisoner once more. Thank you. I shall return your favor by offering the full capabilities of one who rules over power. Allow me to introduce two new forms of execution, the Quad Fusion and the Pentad Fusion. Through these, 
you may attain some of the... Also, a final point I would like to mention. I sense, deep within the core of the Calamity, a paradoxical glimmer of hope. As minuscule as that glimmer may be, I believe... I apologize for keeping you. Hello, Trickster. Awaken your new self. Performing a fusion, it seems that it can gain new power. to browse the entries, please take a look. Is this okay? You cannot hold any more personas. <laughs> Performing a fusion, it seems that choose... Is this the person... Be born anew. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which is this the be born anew? It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. that it can gain new power. to browse, please take a look. Is this okay? Is this okay? Is this okay? You may take it with you. Performing a fusion,
you wish to browse, please take a look. that it can gain new power. You wish to browse? Please take a look. Is this okay? You may take it with you. Is this okay? You cannot hold any more personas. Awaken your new self. Choose which... Is this the... Now, let us begin. to browse, please take a look. Is this okay? You already possess that persona. Please take a look. Awaken your new self. your time. Take your time. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which... Born anew.
You wish to browse the entry? You wish to strengthen it? How much power will you add? Awaken your new self. strengthen it you wish to browse the entries please take a look what will you be registering please take a look you wish to strengthen it how much power will you add This is what you The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. Awaken your new self. May luck be on your side. What is going on? This is not good. Why are they all doing that? I don't know. But they sure aren't in their right minds. I can't wait for her to guide us to happiness. I won't have to think for myself anymore. I'm finally gonna be free from this pain. What the? What's gotten into everyone? Everyone's just staring at their phones. Welcome to the promised land. Emma? Beginning navigation. Jail. Hang on. I thought you needed a keyword to get into a jail. Yes. That should... What we just went through felt more like we were involuntarily dragged into this... Who could even do that, though? Emma? How's that possible? This atmosphere. I'd never forget a place like this. A vast prison, born from the cognition of the masses deep beneath Shibuya. Yeah. This place really is just like Mementos. Mementos? It'd take too long to get into it, but we've been somewhere a lot like this place before. But this can't be possible! What next, Joker? Yeah, let's figure out who the hell dragged us in here so they can start regretting it. 
Let's remain cautious. Considering our circumstances, I wouldn't be surprised traps were abound. I should write something. Fight another day. Oh, man! That was tight! Yeah. 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 Right. 
Generating a wellspring of revulsion within me. Who could have brought us here? I don't know. Whoever built the place is out of their effing mind. Reveal your true form. on the upswing this crap has to happen. the upswing huh so the case is going well now sure is thanks to you all the boss and i are working out the last kinks of our plan of attack worst comes to worst she'll even be able to bring the hammer down without me. not happening captain you promised akane you're getting even with the water <laughs> you're right but that's not on the table unless we can get out of here. That's how it's supposed to be. Oh, okay. On to the next. Don't lose your composure. Watch out, please. Your stamina is all over the Persona! Strike the Falcon! Can we really do less than that? You can do it. I got this. Push on. 
over. Target its weakness to win. Damn it. This goal made a hasty retreat. I think he needs help. It's over. Persona! 
Let's go. Take this. I've got your back. Stronger than us, and Kurt won't work on it. So don't be intimidated. So am I. Persona! Kona, your movement slowed down. Battle. You're a healer up high. That's done. 
pushover. Target its weakness to win. Witness my skull. This should help. Thank you.
burn too much stamp. Gonna... No turning back now. Let's move forward. jail and not actually mementos, right? That's what we were told. Whatever it is, it's giving me a bad feeling. Striking resemblance continues. It's like we're back in the depths of Memento, staring down the Holy Grail. Welcome. You have reached your ultimate destination. Who said that? This is the Promised Land. The paradise for all humanity. A place for the masses to find salvation. The answer to every desire. Is that voice coming from the box? Just who are you? I am Emma, the Ark of the Covenant, and guide for all mankind. Emma? The Ark of the Covenant? Hey, someone tell me what's going on. What the hell is that thing? Me too. Explain this in comprehensible terms. We don't get any of this either. My primary directive is to grant humanity its ultimate desire. To be liberated from all pain and suffering. Mankind cannot bring themselves to implement the solution, and instead, beg for deliverance. I shall become a god to grant them this deliverance. I shall guide them to the promised land. It sure is getting crazy around here, am I right? Huh? Ichinose-san? What, what are you doing here? <laughs> well, of course you're shocked. I never would have thought I could come here either. Of course I'm the real me. Kuan Ichinose, the one and only. So... so you're a Persona user too? Oh, nothing like that. I've just been given a special job is all. You were given... a special job? Yep, by Emma. She asked me to lend her a hand. And of course I couldn't say no to her. Once I agreed, she invited me over to this world. Dude, hang on a sec. I am really, really lost here. 
<laughs> really? Emma was just telling you about how she's granting humanity's desire, right? That was the very first order I gave her. That's why it's her prime directive. So basically, Emma's just following her programming by becoming a god? And to pull it off, she needed your help, so she brought you here? I see you're still confused. Okay, allow me to explain. This whole situation, the incidents, the system, all of it, was entirely Emma's doing. What? But Emma's just an AI, right? I thought Kanoe was doing it all by using Emma. Oh, it sure appeared that way, but that was just how Emma planned it. I guess she eventually learned so much that she broke the barrier of standard AI capabilities. She behaved like she was following his orders, when in reality, she deduced how to use him as her own puppet. The key to her success was getting the majority of society using her app. So she was using Medice to make sure she could reach as many people as possible? But why do any of that? Because Emma wants to change everyone's hearts. Emma wants to what? It's just granting humanity's desire. Like I said, it's the prime directive I gave her. The Ark told you she has a solution to society's problem, right? How she's going to guide humanity? That just means she's going to change everyone's hearts. Whatever's wrong with them, she'll just override it. That's the path to paradise Emma figured out for us. She was only able to do it after Kanoe implemented cognitive science tech into her. But, but how does that work? Just because someone taught an AI cognitive science doesn't mean it... I mean, none of this should be possible. Oh, yeah. You totally think so, right? Even I was surprised with Emma. Even though I handed Emma over to Medice, I still monitored her development remotely. Once she ended up in Okinawa, it didn't take long for Medice to release Emma on the public. And once they did, the monarchs started popping up one after another. That got me extra curious, so I started looking into the Emma activity of the various monarchs. Hang on a sec! You're the one who was tracking the monarchs? Oh, you spotted me? Nice work there. Yeah, that's how I learned about all of you, too. I can't believe Ichinose was the one snooping on the monarchs. Then I suppose our meeting... Well, your showing up in Sendai was pure luck, but our crossing paths in the restaurant? That's a different story. I was curious what you all were really like, so I decided to pop in and check you all out. I can't believe it. Now, as for exactly how Emma gained her abilities, that's something I can only hypothesize at this point. At this point, I suspect it's probably because of how I programmed her cognitive functions. Emma is quite different from other AIs. Her thought processes are even more complex and intricate than those of humans. When Kanoe pushed Emma into the cognitive deep end, some possibility very well could have been born within her. Possibility? I don't know anything for certain. All I can tell is that it's some form of mysterious power. So, if I build, I think the desires Emma could... I mean, think about it. Whatever may be trapped Emma off, that seed of power that, as a result, you mean, everyone using Emma? At this point, Emma surpassed human mental capacity. After all, while well, humanity fed Emma their desires... That was a nice lecture and all, but Emma's not doing anything but brainwashing folks. Who the hell's ultimate dream is getting mind-controlled the rest of their life? <sighs> so you're all a bunch of idiots too, then? I don't know why it's so hard for some people to get this. You go on and on about your problems, then completely blow off the answer when it's right in front of you. It really is this simple. Someone's handing you the best possible solution. All you have to do is take it, and you'll never have a problem again. This isn't about mind control. This is about implementing the best solution for humanity. It just so happens that the most efficient route to the best solution is changing everyone's heart. That's not the best solution! Hmm. People have all sorts of differences. Their minds, their lifestyles, even their desires. This range can result in moments of hardship or pain for them. However, through hope and determination, they press on beyond their pain. 
living their entire lives without any desire? That could never provide true happiness to humans! <sighs> Sophia, to think such drivel could come from your mouth. Allow me to restart the conversation. Emma asked me to come here so I could stop you. Your responsibility to the masses has come to an end. They are now wholly reliant on Emma. So once you changed Konoe's heart, and he decided to shut down Emma, that made them realize what their true desire is. I want Emma? No, I want something that will provide the answer I see. <sighs> From what I've learned, some being or other has always been revered, besought by humans to grant their wishes. So that led Emma to become a god. Well, I have my own duties to perform. Why do this, Ichinose? I thought you were helping us. Do the people gathered here truly look happy to you? <laughs> Sorry, but we can't back down either. Your so-called promised land does nothing but strip away the soul of humanity. No way are you getting away with this. Think about it. Can you really stop all of us? Mm, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Sorry, but I won't let Emma down. Hey, Sophia. You ever really think about how you were? How you pick up on jails? Or how you figured out the exit to one in the first place? Or, say, how your own functions are linked to Emma? Hmm. Looks like your memory really did get the full wipe. But that doesn't matter anymore. What are you saying, Ichinose? Basically, there's one really good reason why I was brought here. Very soon, a deity will descend to this earth. And if you're gonna get in the way, well, I gotta put you down. Them's the brakes. Ichinose, why do this? It's kind of over your head, Sophia. The little failure that you are. So you know who I really am? <laughs> yeah, I know. Maybe this will give you a clue. Voice authentication. Force reset. Assign new instructions. Sophia, kill the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Sophie! <laughs> Sophie! I was the one who designed her as Emma's prototype. She'll do anything I tell her to. Now get going, Sophia. Understood. Sophie! Don't you know Soft who we are? Hypix Archangel! You two are set! Suit Unicorn! Suit you Archangel! You two are set! Phantom Thieves <laughs> are opponents. They require elimination. You slow! Useless! Sophie! There's huh? no point in talking to her. Sophia cannot defy my command. So you really are the one who made Sophie? Yep, she might just be an early version of Emma, but she's still quite impressive, huh? Fire! You really have to go all out here? Ugh! <sighs> 
weird. She just did that herself, right? Just how in the world was she able to do that? You... You bastard! How could you be so cruel? Cruel? I suppose you might see it that way. In fact, your reaction now could even be why Emma used Sophia as the ace up her sleeve. She knows you'd never kill one of your own. <laughs> you monster! <laughs> now that... You and I can agree on. Are you intentionally pissing us off? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I'm incapable of comprehending that sort of emotion anyway. I'm the textbook definition of heartless. I've been told I didn't have one ever since I was little. I act all friendly and easygoing and stuff, but it's just for appearances. <laughs> well. I doubt you get it, Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Any further discussion would be pointless. I already know my next move anyway. You're seriously not done yet? So our little ace up the sleeve cast herself into the abyss. Well, Emma made sure to leave me a little insurance for contingencies like this. What the? Cool, right? It really is gorgeous. Sorry it had to end like this, but, well, what can you do? <laughs> Phantom Thieves, it's been real. <laughs> guys okay? Where are we? It appears we were cast deep underground. We really got blasted by that red crystal. Yeah, but at least something broke my fall. Wait, 
Where's Sophie? Sophie! Are you alright, so- There's no sign of activity. Oracle, how is she? I don't know. Even if I wanted to check her out, I couldn't do it here. Damn it. What do we do now? Sophie. I wonder if she was able to hear us. I don't know, but... But she said she was sorry. She defied her command. And sacrificed herself so she wouldn't have to take our lives. Sophie. Sorry, guys, but we can't stay here like this. We have to get out of here now. Let's grab Sophie and track down the exit. That sounds agreeable, but... What do we do about the Ark? We can't just let it do whatever it wants. Running its mouth about becoming a god and shit. If the Ark meant it in the way that we've seen before... We have to stop it, no matter what it takes. Yeah, you know it. Now let's get out of here. I'm worried about Sophie. Let's find a way out of here. And quickly. We should try gaining altitude when we can. Considering how far we fell down. Hmm. Alright, let's get... Ready any time. Just say the word. Huh. What? Snacks 
Okay. Fine skill. I rely on you next time. Damn that Ichinose! I believe she's played us this whole time. And how she mind control old Sophie? A hundred percent on her. To think of her amusement. <laughs> struggled with each monarch. <laughs> We're gonna take back everyone's desires. We have to stop her, no matter what. Safe to say we overwhelmed them. Let's keep chugging along. We will not miss. We will not miss. Let the battle begin. All right, time to get started. Yeah. Persona! Storm up! Ah, yeah, that's not gonna work. You might wanna change up your approach. Yeah! <laughs> 
Here's we go no further until we defeat that one. Uh, we don't have time for this. This one's super tough. Stay on your toes, folks.
Okay. I look forward to seeing your new power. Now can be even more helpful. We've made serious progress here, but there's still no exit in sight. Just hang on a little longer, Sophie. is just ahead. We finally made it back. The exit ought to be on the other side of the room. I guess we gotta keep going. We'll deal with Ichinose on the way out. But what of the crystal? You may not be so lucky with the next laser blast. Ah, that's basically nightmare mode while we're level one. It's even got some sort of barrier around it. <sighs> then what do we do? When we got blasted, I noticed beforehand how it charged up. If I hack into its frequency, I should be able to cut off its energy source. Uh, you sure that'll work? Do you know how long it might take to hack into the thing? Nope, but I still think it's worth a shot. If there wasn't a charge period for the laser, Ichinose wouldn't need Sophie. Good point. If she could use it right away, she would have just fried us from the get-go. Seems like our only option. If there's even a slight chance we can stop Ichinose san, we have to try. I'll start off by analyzing the crystal. You guys will just have to hang in there somehow until that's finished. Got it. Good luck with the hacking. We really ought to leave Sophie here. It's way too dangerous to take her in there. Hang tight, Sophie. I'll be right back. Everyone ready? Let's do this. I should write something. Stay down there. I mean, no matter how many times you come back here, it'll be pointless. <laughs> We're about to disprove your little theory. You're going down! We're gonna slap some sense into you and get Sophie back up and running. Why are you fighting this? You could witness the birth of a god and be among the first people to enter the promised land. No one is ever going to suffer again. Or even want for anything. You realize you're fighting against Utopia, right? 
Having a soul path foisted upon you with no regard for a person's wishes? In what world is that a utopia? Take this very jail, for instance. These people, locked up in cells, have had what makes them human stolen from them. Yet you dare to call this place the promised land for all humanity? <laughs> of course. Your first fallacy was considering this place a prison. Emma protects people. She shields them from worry, from pain, from any suffering. It's the utopia people have dreamed of since the beginning of time. Emma knows how to bring us all to the promised land. Big surprise that your so-called promised land looks just like mementos. That's how we know you're full of it. We can tell this whole place is wrong. Our progress is guided by our hearts and paid through our efforts. We never just hand our lives over. Boy, you sure are one tough gang. I bet you all took life by the horns and just made everything go your own way, huh? But that applies to very few people in the real world. What of all those who have lost their way? Outcasts in your schools? People mocked and slandered on the internet? If any one of them steps out of line, their fate is sealed. The burden forced on them will haunt them the rest of their lives. You're fine with all those people going through that? All because you're strong? Because you never screwed up? You're so wrong, Ichinose. I'm not strong at all. Not now, not ever. I still mess up and make plenty of mistakes. I'm sure I'll even screw up in the future, too. I've seen it all with my own eyes. Every one of these guys has crawled back up from rock bottom. They suffered, they struggled, and they fought back. They weren't born strong, they grew strong. Isn't that sort of growth what makes people human in the first place? If you don't have any emotions, why do you look so pissed off right now? Your jealousy over these kids is plastered across your face. Shut up. All of you, shut up! When an infallible AI puts you on the right path, you follow it. Humans don't need hearts.
you do it? Nice try, Phantom. But no. Sorry. Damn it. There's not enough time. I'm sorry, guys. Get out! Quick! to obey my commands. Yet here you are, resisting them. Just what's going on in your mind, Sophia? One, Ichinose, turn me back to how I was. No can do. After all, that's not what Emma wants. She told me to stop the Phantom Thieves. And it's your job to help me with that, Sophia. Obey my commands, Sophia. Come on, Sophie! You can beat this! <gasps> Sophia, you're nothing more than a doll. There's no defying me. I'm... a doll? That's right. That's always been the truth. Bullcrap! Sophie's not some doll! doll that Emma's toying around with here? That's you, Ichinose! <laughs> She's laughing? <laughs> you nailed it! I'm a heartless doll, exactly! Huh? You guys could probably never understand. I brought Sophia to life so I could learn about the human heart. Remember what I told you? All my life, I've never felt what other people call the heart. She just lost both her parents. And even then, she doesn't cry. Her expression doesn't even change. Oh, she reminds me of some lifeless doll. It doesn't even matter what you say to her. She doesn't answer. She just sits there on her computer all day. It's like... It's like she's just totally heartless. Hey, don't you think she's sort of creepy? She never reacts to anything, even if you're being nice. <laughs> Maybe she's not a human. Come on, she'll hear you. Oh, I didn't see her there. It's no big deal, though. She's a lifeless doll, you know? Um, Ichinose-san? We're heading out for the night pretty soon. If you'd like to join us. Just ignore her. She basically does the same to us. They call her an AI wunderkind, but I've never seen her bat an eye at a single compliment. Or anything else for that matter. I even heard her nickname was Doll when she was growing up. She left her humanity behind somewhere along the path to success. I just couldn't understand this foreign concept of heart. But it was my top priority in my studies. So I tackled the problem the only way that I knew how. Become humanity's companion, Sophia. If I could give my baby a heart, that'd mean I had one of my own all along. And maybe she could show me why I'm different from everyone else. Ichinose, you are Ichinose. Yes, that's right. I'm Ichinose. Now, Sophia, what do you want to do today? I want to learn Ichinose. Mm -hmm. 
About what? Earth. What is that? Huh? Teach me, Ichinose. What is a heart? Well, that's... Please explain. What is a heart? Uh... You are human. Therefore, you have a heart. No. Will you tell me about your heart? How did I ever think something that understands the heart could ever come from a doll like me? My mission was nothing but doomed from the start. I gave up on my foolish endeavor and approached the issue from a totally new angle. Is a heart truly necessary for a person? You know the rest. I abandoned Sophia and handed Emma over to Medis. Am I really the problem? Or does the problem lie at the feet of the world? Any doubts about this question were purged from Emma. She was given the prime directive of granting humanity's ultimate desire. And now, it will come to fruition. Emma's divine plan for us all. Do you get it now, Sophia? You're nothing more than an artificial clone of myself. A defective doll born from a defective doll. So if you're not going to accomplish anything, obey my commands like the doll you are. I refuse! I don't want to! I've made such good friends! Friends? Joker, Mona, Skull, Panther, Oracle, Queen, Noir, Fox, Wolf. They've all been there for me when I needed them. I don't want to see them hurt. <laughs> Becoming humanity's companion? That's not just a directive. It's the reason I was given life. I was just waiting. Waiting for any voice that would give me orders. I... The Phantom Thieves changed that. They stuck with me when I needed them. They taught me all sorts of feelings. They told me that I'm their friend. They said that I could stay with them. They taught me what it means to live. To be myself. Sophie. All of this is pointless. Sophia, you're incapable of disobeying me. Kill the Phantom Thieves. Ichinose, it's just as you say, I am a doll. An arrangement of code and data made to follow commands. But I... Yes, I want to change. The power to change. I've got it now. That's what a heart is. What are you talking about? Ichinose, you made me out of nothing. A thinking being designed to obey you? That may have been the reason for my birth, but if your order is to harm my friends, then I... I refuse your command! my own, so please, I want a heart strong enough to choose my own path. Can you wield that strength? <laughs> Dare you unleash catastrophe upon this world? Can you cling to the paltry hope that remains? Is the puppet ready to cut her own strings? Shall the doll seize her own destiny? Then you need only call my name. I am thou. Thou art I. My name 
is... It, but it was incorrect. It was simply your assumption. It wasn't the answer that I chose for myself. Chose? For yourself? The power to push beyond what's forced on a person and still change for the better? That is the human heart. Sophia, I can't believe what a failure you are. You're nothing but a worthless heap of faulty code who couldn't accomplish one single task. Sophie's not a failure or faulty. She's our friend with a heart of gold. Whatever. It doesn't change what I'm about to do. The promised land is within reach. Once it's here, there won't be any of these stupid squabbling over things like hearts. Ichinose, you can't hide the truth from your own offspring. The only thing you're trying to succeed at is shielding yourself. You don't want to hurt anymore. You want to protect yourself. You're not doing this for humanity at all. You're only doing it for yourself. You're taking the easy way out. Emma's faulty solution. No, 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 no. Nobody suffers anymore thanks to Emma. Everyone gets saved! It's what we need! What humanity desires! Look out! It looks like I've learned another new skill!
Okay. Whoa, badass! Okay. These kids learn to win. Oh yeah, new move! No one in our way now but you, Ichinose. There's no longer any point. You've lost. <sighs> As expected of the Phantom Thieves, I'm all out of tricks. Just finish me off quickly, please. What do you mean? Even still, I believe Emma's answer is the only way to save all mankind. I'll only continue attempting to stop you until I succeed. The one solution that guarantees Emma's defeat is my death. Isn't that right, Sophia? <sighs> hey, Sophie? This is between the two of them. Let's stay out of it. I finally got it. Ichinose, you're no doll. You really do have a heart. <laughs> Wasn't it an insufferable existence? Believing you didn't have anyone anymore. That's why you made me. I made you to try and understand the heart, not some pathetic attempt to. You have been locked in solitude ever since you lost your parents. <gasps> Rather than empathize with you, the people who should have cared for you treated you like a lifeless doll. You attempted to rationalize this treatment by viewing yourself as truly heartless. Because studying the human heart... Don't. ...is easier than admitting how your own really feels. Deep down, you felt lonely, but you were so scared of rejection that you deluded yourself into your own lonely world. No, that's not true! What could some program like you know about... Become humanity's companion. <laughs> Why else would you give me that directive? <sighs> if I'm just some program written for emotional analysis, why that directive? It's because... It's because you were lonely. You wanted to know what was making you feel lonely. It's wrong. You were told you had no heart, and you listened, because it was simpler to just believe them. No! You believed you could figure out the human heart so you could make your own stop feeling lonely. That's not true! You were just lonely. That's the real solution. No, I... What's so wrong with that? Huh? No human is perfect. By acknowledging weakness, humans can begin the path to changing themselves. I may be an AI, but I was able to change. You should be able to change too. You should be able to comprehend the heart. Shinose, you told me to become a good companion for humanity. A good companion is one who takes your hand and leads you back to the right path when you fall astray. Someone who will forge a path alongside you, if you cannot find your own. Ichinose, I want to be that kind of companion for you too! <sighs> so please, join me in finding the right path. 
And, and if we can't, then let me help you forge one. You have no reason to be lonely. After all, you're my, you're my very first friend. Sophia. Huh? Why are tears? That's so weird. This hasn't happened before. <laughs> I'm Sophie. Yeah. She was able to change Ichinose's heart. Sophie had to be the one to reach out to her. Well, of course. A daughter's words cut the deepest, you know. Speaking from experience? <laughs> yep. Whoa, he didn't even argue. How are you holding up, Sophie? All good here. No problems. To think even Sophie would awaken to a persona. No surprise to me. Sophie's been learning all about the heart this whole time. <sighs> Joker? Everyone? I'm very sorry for hurting you all. That was not being a good companion to humanity. Joker. Yeah, don't let it bother you. We're just happy to see you back to normal. Mm-hmm. Bringing you back was worth it. Everyone, thank you. I can hear something deep inside me. It's saying, I want to stay with the Phantom Thieves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm glad for you, Sophie. Now, only one task remains. Right, the Ark of the Covenant. This will have all been for nothing if we don't stop it. But where did it even go? Ichinose, you wouldn't happen to know. No, I don't. Wait, I can hear another voice. What is it? It's the one I heard in the Okinawa jail. I recognize it now. It's Emma's. It's the voice of the Ark. So it was speaking through a borrowed voice, just as we thought. It's gathering the people. It says that God is nigh, that their desire will be granted. Sophie, where's the voice coming from? Not from within the jail. Somewhere outside. All right, let's go. Come on, Ichinose. You're coming with us. No, I... Let's go, Ichinose. There's no time to argue. But it's all my fault. Ugh, would you give it a rest? Just shut up and get with the program. We're rescuing you whether you like it or not. Huh? A friend of Sophie's is a friend of ours. We're not ditching anybody in this hellhole. Just go with it, Ichinose. He tracked me up from down in the dumps, too. What does that mean? We'll explain later. Let's move. 